Well, firefighters remain at the Rise Doro apartment building in downtown Jacksonville as they keep an eye on hot spots. Want to give you a live look at the complex through Sky 4. There's also a risk of collapse, so it's important to keep the surrounding areas blocked off for safety, at least for now. You know, a couple of nearby bars, they are closed as a result of this. There are also some environmental concerns this evening. The worry is that runoff from the extensive firefight could contaminate nearby Hogan's Creek and the St. John's River. News for Jack supporter Janice Harris has been working to get answers on the condition of our waterways. She's joining us now live from near the St. John's River. I want to show you where we are. The Rise Doer apartments are right behind me. You can see those or that white building. And then to the side of me, this is Hogan's Creek. And that feeds into the St. John's River that goes on this part of the area as well. Everything is so close to where that fire for the apartments happened. That's why there was so much concern about the possibility of water contamination. But the good news tonight so far, the water has not been contaminated from any runoff water. Hundreds of thousands of gallons of water have been used to get this apartment fire under control. But as the water drains out from the building, it could carry chemicals. Hawkins Creek and the St. John's River are nearby, so it's standard protocol for the city to tell multiple agencies, including Jacksonville's Environmental Quality Division, Coast Guard, and Florida's Department of Environmental Protection about any potential risk. But luckily, we're not seeing any evidence of that. St. John's River Keepers are also saw, investigating. Uh, so specifically for the Rise Duro Apartments, what have the River Keepers done so far? So we have uh, met and discussed with all the agencies. The Coast Guard was the lead agency on doing the investigation. Um, and fortunately, they have confirmed that firefighting foam was not used. So that's good. You didn't have that threat. And then in addition, there was no evidence of harmful runoff from anything that may have been in the building and running. The Rise Doral building is in downtown Jacksonville. Runoff was a concern because Hogan's Creek and the St. John's River are less than a mile from the apartment fire. Agencies will continue to monitor even after the fire is eventually put out. With this, you know, we don't anticipate anything that may you know, come later. However, until that fire's out, um, you won't know. Reinemann says every case is different, but for the Rise Doro fire, so far, local waterways are safe. And this again is a look at the St. John's River where Hogan's Creek meets. You know, there are fires, generally speaking, where there's a foam that's used, but we have been told and it has been confirmed that there was no type of form that typically has forever chemicals that was used with this fire. Again, there was no foam that was used with this fire. However, over the next couple of weeks, if you're in the area of the St. John's River and you do see a sheen over top of the, the top layer of the river, you're asked to please contact the city or the river keepers. Reporting live downtown, Janice Harris, Channel 4, the local station.